top of the world and now I'm living And the good just gets better, keeps a giving Not even close to the end, it's just beginning Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah Hi, it's Ann Perry and today we're going to be talking about what can I expect in my personal year of one? So this is the first in a series of nine videos that I've prepared for you, which is going to be talking about each personal year in the nine year epicycle. Okay, I'm going to keep it short and sweet and to the point so that you can get the best of the information. Um, I've also included some really good tips on how to get the best out of your personal year of one, if that's where you happen to be. Okay, are you ready to learn a little bit more? Okay, stick with me. All right, first of all, we need to figure out what is the universal year. So as I'm filming this video, it's 2017. So what we're going to do, I'll show you over here, 2017, we're going to break that down to a single digit. So 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 7 equals 10, and then we reduce it even further, 1 plus 0 equals 1. So now we know that the universal year of 2017 is a 1. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take your month of birth and we're going to reduce that to a single digit. So say, for example, you were born in December. That's the 12th month. Well, we need to reduce that to a single digit. So we're going to add 1 plus 2 equals 3. Simple math or I wouldn't be doing it, trust me. Take your day of birth and now reduce that to a single digit. So if you're born on the 25th day, add 2 plus 5. It's going to equal 7. Now all you're going to do is add your reduced month to your reduced day to the universal year. So in this case, it would be 3 plus 7 plus 1 equals 11. Now, those of you who know something about numerology might be asking, well, do I reduce the 11? Yes, you do in this case. You do reduce the 11. 1 plus 1 equals 2. This means you are in a 2 personal year. And further to that, uh, if you happen to be born on the 11th day, you're going to reduce that to a 2. And if you're born on the 22nd day, you're going to reduce that to a 4. It's 2 and 2 equals 4. All right, let's go. Okay, so what can you expect in a personal year of 1? New beginnings. This is the start of a new cycle. It's a fresh start. This is a time when you're really going to be able to kick it into gear. Um, you're going to have all kinds of energy, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Now, I'm not going to say that you can't have a new beginning somewhere else in your epicycle, in that nine-year cycle we're talking about. I'm not saying you can't have a new beginning, but I'm going to tell you that if you happen to be in a personal year of one, this is the year to do it, okay? The universe is naturally going to bring new opportunities to you, um, they're going to bring new events, new people, new situations. It's just really, really new energy. Now, I want you to think, as you're going through this series, if you happen to, to go through and, and watch all the videos, um, I want you to consider yourself like a farmer, okay? Now, in the year of one, you're furrowing up the ground, okay? You're starting to till the ground, and you're starting to plant some seeds, you know, metaphorically, some ideas that you have and some things that you want to start. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to go to school. Maybe you want to start a new job, new relationship. It's all really conducive to happening in a personal year of one. It's a fresh start in a nine-year cycle. So last year, you would have been in a personal year of nine if you happened to be in a personal year of one this year. So last year was all about endings and releasing and letting go and getting ready for a new beginning, okay, and starting fresh. It's a time to cultivate. It's a time to cultivate relationships. It's time to cultivate new business plans. Um, anything that you want to get started, maybe it's a, um, a new website, that sort of thing, fantastic time to be doing that. I know when I was in my one personal year, I started my whole new website. I rebranded myself and whatnot. I had the best year ever. So, you know, it, there's something to be said for that. And you need to remember that in 2017, we're in a one universal year. So what does that mean? It means every single one of us, regardless of where we are in the epicycle, we could be in a year of two, we could be in a year of five, doesn't matter. The universe is showering us with a beautiful, um, ray of uh, energy related to the one, which is all about new beginnings, okay? So we've got to be able to um, take that into consideration. So if, say, for example, you happen to be in a two personal year, which is about partnerships and relationships. The fact that the universe is giving you all this one um, vibration coming from the 2017 um, says that it's likely that you'll, you'll start a new relationship in a personal year of two. Okay, so anything you start this year is going to influence you for the next nine years. So plan carefully. Whatever is important to you, whatever you've been putting off, you cannot put off anything right now. You've got to be able to get it started in your personal year of one. So I'm betting you're asking yourself, how do I get the best out of my personal year of one? I'm glad you asked because I'm about to tell you. 
Okay, so I want you to focus on what you do want to accomplish. You do not have time to focus on what you haven't gotten done. You haven't got time to focus on the fact that maybe you don't have enough money yet. You don't have the time yet. You don't have whatever is the obstacle or limitation you perceive. Kick it to the curb. You have no time for that. You have 365 days of this beautiful one energy. And if you happen to be watching this in 2017 and you're in a personal year of one, you just won the lottery. I'm not kidding. This is an amazing, amazing lineup for you. So focus on what you want to accomplish. You have no time to focus on what you don't have or what you don't, um, what's not supporting you. So I want to make sure that you're really, really on target this year. Take charge, take initiative, get the job done. Stop thinking about it. Last year was a year to kind of think about all the things that were standing in your way, nothing is standing in your way this year unless you choose to let it stand in your way. If you have some kind of belief system that says you're not good enough, boys, you got to kick that to the curb because um, that's going to trip you up a little bit. I want you to be successful this year and really take charge and go for it. Use your time wisely. You only have 365 days. I keep repeating myself, but you do. You only have 365 days. Now remember, a first, uh, sorry, first of January, you wake up with a full cup of whatever the energy is. So if you happen to be in a personal year of one, you've got a full cup of one. Now for every day that goes by uh, in your personal year of one, you're going to get a little blast of this energy. Go, go, go. It's go time. It's right. It's all about getting something started. So, but by the time you get to about September, October, you're starting to feel a little bit of a shift, okay? And that shift is related to the fact that that full cup is almost empty. And what's happening is the energy of the two is starting to come up over that threshold and it's starting to influence your experience. So you start running out of steam in the fall. So if you're planning on starting something new, try to get it started as early in the year as possible, okay? Um, because it's really, really important that you get the best out of the energy, and the energy is the most intense at the beginning of the year rather than at the end of the year. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in yourself? I believe in you, okay? you got to get this done this year, right? you got to step into it. Step into the light. There is never going to be a better time. There's never going to be a better lineup then 2017 with a universal vibration of one on top of your personal year of one. Are you kidding me? Like seriously, go buy your tickets because this is your lottery year. Set goals and follow through with them, okay? Hold yourself accountable. Do not pro procrastinate. You really need to recognize that time will tick by very, very quickly. And remember, you only get one kick at the cat once in nine years to harness the energy of a one personal year. How old are you going to be in nine years time? It's pretty humbling, isn't it? Kind of sober thought. How old are you going to be in nine years time before you get another chance to be supported by this fantastic um, one energy? Okay, so that is it. Now I did want to point out too that, um, you know, there's a lot more to understanding your cycle than just understanding what personal year you're in. Your full name on your birth certificate will produce a number called the essence. And when I'm doing a personal chart for you, um, I look at the essence very closely because it is like the color that we're going to infuse into that black and white template. You know, the one personal year is the same for me as it is for you, as it is for Bob, as it is for Zoo, right? It's the same. Um, the energy is going to be the same. It's all about new beginnings. But you're going to go through it very differently than I'm going to go through it because your name on your birth certificate is different than mine. So um, that produces a very, very personal trend. And it's like a secret trend that you need to know about. So uh, I do offer personal readings. If you go to my website, annperrynumerologist.com, it's all there for you. I do have full readings, but I also offer just um, small uh, future readings so that we can talk about just the trends that are affecting you right now. So love to get together and share that with you. So just uh, drop me an email and I can show you how that's done. Or you can just book your reading right online. Um, I've also got a Facebook page and I post something new every single day regarding numerology. So I'd love it if you'd follow me there. And of course, I have my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? I've got all kinds of cool stuff to share with you this year. I am feeling pumped and I want to share it all. So I uh, love it if you'd subscribe. If you send me a comment, I promise I will do everything I can to answer you because I love to create community. And uh, if you're a numerology keener, I am all over that. So thanks so much, guys. If you're in a personal year of one, go out there and kick some ass. All right. Have a great 2017 and um, hopefully we'll connect really soon. Take care. Bye for now.